all my YouTube friends, this is a $3,000 DSLR camera and lens setup. And this is a $20 generic webcam that I got off of Amazon. Today I'm going to show you how to make this webcam look like this. So you know what? Let's get to it! The basics of all this happen directly in OBS. There are no plugins or anything. But I will say there are a few tweaks that you can make to have it look even better and I'm going to cover it at the end so you definitely want to stick around. Let's jump right in. This is my main unmolested camera that you guys are used to seeing and normally what I do is just crop out the edges here like this. So there we go. And that's how I get where I'm going. I don't change anything. I have all the lighting set up for this camera. Everything is good to go. So it's a little bit shocking when you see this camera, which is the $20 webcam. Now, just so you're aware, the $20 webcam is mounted about two inches in front of the DSLR and about two inches below the DSLR. So it's basically in the exact same location, but look at what you can see. Holy mackerel. So what I'm going to do is hold down my space bar here and we're going to zoom out. And then I'm going to just crop this so we get the same view that we get in the other camera. It's a good place to start. So you're going to want to crop your view. You don't have to worry too much about what view you get in your webcam because you can crop it. Now, of course, that is about the same crop. It's pretty close. Maybe we'll shrink it up a little bit. There we go. I think that's pretty close if we go back and take a look. But man, you can see a massive difference in lighting and everything else. Let's go ahead and zoom this back in. And so that's the, that's the DSLR. That's the webcam. And holy mackerel, do we get a lot of difference in the lighting. And you can see we've got grain going on over here. There's all kinds of problems with this all kinds of problems now needless to say like i said the lighting is set up specifically for the dslr and i'm not really going to cover how to mess around with the lights i would definitely recommend that you have good quality lights it's going to really help you to make your webcam look fantastic but i'm not going to worry too much about it because i understand that if you're using a 20 dollars webcam you probably don't have fantastic lights what you do want to have is some lighting from the front and maybe some lighting from the sides to give you a little shadow or depth to your face. Now you can see I have a lot of lighting in the front, which is why my face is all blown out and all that stuff. But we're just gonna go ahead and fix that in the software. I have my webcam loaded in here. We're gonna right click on it and we're gonna go to properties. And we're gonna start out with these settings right here. For device default, we're gonna select custom. Then what we wanna do is select the highest resolution that's available on the camera. Then we're going to go down here and we're going to select the highest frame rate that your camera can do. And you can see it kind of whacking out. We're going to leave the video format at any. We're going to change our color space to rec 709. And this gives us the most colors available with the webcam. The color range, we're going to choose full. Once again, the most colors available and nothing else needs to be changed what i'm going to do is deactivate the camera activate it back up i'm going to click ok and then we're going to go down here and i'm just going to right click and we're going to go to transform we're going to reset it and then we're going to change our zoom once again so it looks proper so we're going to go into our webcam again we're going to right click and we're going to go to properties now this is one nice thing that obs fixed and that is the ability to go into configure video and change all of this stuff and have it stay the same but trust me we're going to trust but verify this and i'll show you how to do that the first thing we want to do is go over to our camera control and we just want to go ahead and turn off the autofocus and we can adjust our auto or we can adjust our focus so that we're in focus and all that fun stuff um and there we go and we're gonna turn off this exposure and watch how much better this looks automatically just by turning this off. Automatically we get some colors, we're not washed out. It looks pretty good. Now we can obviously go and adjust it, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that minus six. And we're gonna click apply and then we're gonna go over here to our video processing. 
Let's move this farther out of the way. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and adjust my brightness up a little bit, just a little bit. And I know you're saying, well, we want it darker because when we look at the other camera, it's darker. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got gotcha. you. We're going to go darkness. We're going to add a little bit of contrast. And then we're going to go ahead and mess around with this hue. This is going to change the colors a little bit. So if we drop it down, we can get green in the back, and I look like I'm basically black and white. If we go super like this, everything goes purple. And what I'm trying to do is match the colors as naturally as I possibly can without being too washed out. So this is pretty natural, and we're going to change the rest with this saturation. So saturation, if you go all the way down, you get a black and white image. When you start to roll it up a little bit, you're going to add some of that color back in. So if we go right in this range here, we get a lot more of my natural color, as we could see when we look at my DSLR. So we're going to go with that, and we're going to go ahead and dial up the sharpness just a little bit. Now, you don't maybe want to go super crazy on this, because you will see artifacting in the background and that sort of stuff. And so now the gamma is where we can adjust our brightness and we're gonna go ahead and adjust that down so that gives us a little bit more of the shading look and you can see we are getting really close really close to this camera right here so the next the next thing we want to tackle is white balance and if I turn this off if you turn that off on some it will just be a disaster some webcams handle white balance totally different than this one does this one actually happens to handle the white balance pretty well um, a lot of cameras, a lot of webcams, you're going to want to keep your white balance just checked because it's going to look better to you when it's automatically checked. For this particular camera, it doesn't handle the white balance as well. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just adjust it myself. If we go all the way down here, you can see my skin kind of turns more blue. And if we go all the way up here, I definitely get more yellow or orange. And we want to just dial this to where we get a nice kind of solid look at blue color in the background. I really kind of like that right there and so we're good to go on that now this brightness comp doesn't really do much of anything and some webcams won't even have it the same with gain gain basically will wash you out or make you dark at the bottom and you just want to kind of set it to where you feel pretty good about the way that it looks we've got a nice definition to my face our background looks pretty good our lighting looks much better than it did when we started we're gonna click apply and then I highly recommend even though these settings do stay when you leave and come back I've tested this multiple times uh, I would still take a screenshot of your settings right here when you get them dialed in the way you want uh, take a screenshot of these settings so that if for some reason OBS doesn't set it because maybe you do an OBS update or something like that well, then you can just come right back and they're all here. So now we can see that my camera setup is very, very close in color wise and everything else to how this one looks. I mean, <laughs> compared to where we started, this is infinitely better. This is the kind of camera setup that somebody could definitely live with. It looks pretty good. Probably just a touch below DSLR quality. But there are people out there who don't know how to use a DSLR and their picture is going to look just like this. Whereas you're using a $20 webcam and you're making it look amazing. I work really hard to try to make content that I think you're going to enjoy. And sometimes I hit and sometimes I miss, but honestly, it's really hard to know for sure. And that's where you can really help me out. If you're enjoying this video, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. And if it's not your cup of tea, do not hesitate to give it a thumbs down. If everyone who's watching this video right now gives it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, I'm going to know for sure whether this is the kind of content you want to see or whether I need to try something new. It really does help me out. I appreciate it a lot. So thumbs up and thumbs down everyone right now. Thank you so much. Let's get back to the content. Now you may be disappointed that you can't get that blur in the background like you see here with a webcam. And that has everything to do with how the lenses work. 
on a DSLR, you have a much larger lens with a lot more control. There are, however, ways that you can create this effect with a webcam. Let me show you how. So here's how we're gonna add that blur to our background. And of course, this is still our webcam. We're gonna use this webcam scene as a nested scene from now on so that we can duplicate this camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and just rename it and we're gonna call it NS webcam. That lets me know that it's a webcam scene. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and create another scene and we'll just call this full. And in this new scene, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna use a source clone. And for our source clone, the first one we're gonna call this is webcam one and we'll click okay. And what we could do is load a scene or a source. When we clone a source, we're gonna have to mess around with resizing it. So you're gonna see what I mean here. And we're gonna go and we're gonna grab our web camera and we wanna have the audio for this one. We, we definitely need our audio. So now we have our webcam with our audio. And what I'm gonna do is just leave this for a second because we're gonna click the plus and we're gonna do another source clone. And this will be webcam two. And we're gonna go ahead and grab our web camera again. And we don't want the audio for a second one. So there we go. So now we only have one audio in there. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, the source clone is a plugin. It's really simple to get. There is a link in the description down below and it allows you to basically duplicate your camera over and over again and add effects to it without affecting the original camera. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just select both of these and this way we can basically modify them at the same time so we can get them in the, so we can get them set up the way we want. And we're gonna go ahead and just get our camera all set up the way we want it and we'll select this other one it's back behind we can't see it but it's going to have the same layout and effect so we're going to try to just match them up and then what we could do is we can go like this and we could see whether they're matched up and they're really close there we go so you can't see anything moving when we do that and that's what we want we're in good shape so we'll go ahead and zoom back in here and now we're ready to go ahead and add that blur to our background there. So how are we gonna do this? Well, we're gonna go ahead and activate webcam one. We're gonna select it and we're gonna right click, go into filters. Now there are a bunch of different ways that you can remove a background and I have lots of different videos on it. We're gonna use the Nvidia background removal because it is definitely the easiest way. But if you don't have an Nvidia card and you wanna remove your background, there are plenty of ways to do it check out one of my other videos and it will show you how to do it. So now we have my camera in the front with the background removed. We're gonna go to this webcam in the back. We're gonna right click and we're gonna go to filters. Now there are lots of different filters that you can use for this. I'm gonna go with this user defined, user defined shader down here at the bottom. And this is part of the shader filter package, which is another plugin that I will link down below. We're gonna load the shader from a text file and click browse. And you can see that this is from OBS shader filter. We wanna do a box blur right here and click open. And so now all we have to do is adjust the strength of our box blur. And you can see that our background just goes blurry and boom. Now we've recreated the exact same look as our regular camera with this one. So there you go. Pretty cool. Are there any camera settings that I missed here you wanna know more about? Let me know all that down in the comments. And if you wanna learn more about proper lighting, you should definitely check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.